Today I thought I would show you everything that I've made this month because I've made so much stuff this month and that is because by the time you're watching this video I've launched my new website, yay! Very very exciting, very very scary at the same time. Basically for the last few months I've been curating a clothing collection like crazy but I've also been hand making and reworking clothes for the very very first time. So I've put everything together in a big collection and I've called it the Motel Pool Mermaid Collection and we did a big photo shoot at a motel. It was a very intense couple of weeks these last few weeks up to the big photo shoot that we did but honestly I would do it all again it was so much fun despite the really really long hours and having to do everything by myself which kind of sucked it was so much fun getting to like make my own clothes and now I get to put my own designs and ideas out there for the very first time and that's really really cool because I've been selling secondhand and vintage stuff for a while now almost a year but I've never put out any of my own designs my own work so it's really really cool and I'm really really excited to see how I can like grow and keep doing this and get better because it's only my very first thing that I've done but I'll talk to you a little bit more about the website and everything that's going on at the end of the video but right now I'm gonna get into showing you everything that I've made this month because majority of the things I made have happened in the last few weeks I've just sort of lumped everything together into the last month about a month more like Three. I have tons of clothes to show you. So I've got my stuff over here, all my handmade rework stuff. But then I also picked out some of my favorites from the collection that aren't mine because I'm so obsessed with them. But before I get into showing you my clothes, there are a couple other things that I've been making. By far the most popular being my reworked stuffed animals. With Meadow Lane, my favorite thing about it is I just make whatever I want. Like there's no niche thing. I never like make anything twice. One of the things that I did that was one of the more random ideas that I had was reworking stuffed animals that I come across. I see them just like sitting in the bottoms of bins like covered in dirt and hair waiting to be sent off to rot forever. I bring some of them home because I just can't leave them there but I can't give them all a home. I started bringing them home and cleaning them up and making them feel all nice again and then I wanted to give them a new look something that would appeal to my audience. I started just using my like recycled stuff and I gave them little bows and like little lace collars. I was like why don't I give them blush and just like girlified them and then they were gone within a day and that is what I'm known for. I love every single thing that I make. It was just such a random thing <laughs> to like blow up and do so well. I don't have any of them to show you, but I can put some pictures on the screen. And then the other things that I've been really, really loving making are these notebooks. I don't know how many I made, but I have three left. One of them I just sent off to Brooklyn, New York, which is pretty cool. Kind of the same thing. Everything on my store is like recycled, even with the stuff that I rework, all the fabrics, lace, ribbon, everything. But I go to this secondhand fabric store or I just like get stuff from thrift stores and I like cut it up and stuff like that. This is the first ever one that I made. I don't really know what I was doing the first time I was making one. I just really knew that I wanted to sell notebooks, but I was like, there's so much paper out there already that's just gonna go and go to landfill. So I was like, why don't I just rework notebooks that I've got around the house? So, and then I started thrifting them because I'm really obsessed with reading and writing and poetry and all that stuff. So I wanted to give people an option, a really pretty option, even if it's just like a journal or something. This is one of my mini ones. This one's really, really cute. Just like the plaid fabric and then the really pretty yellow floral lace. And then I've been trying to brand everything. I'll just write like ML somewhere. Some of them are lined, but some of them aren't. So you can use them as sketchbooks as well, or like bullet journals and stuff like that. This one's one of my personal favorites. The ribbon down here was actually to cover a mistake. I tried to write Meadow Lane down here because like I said, I want to brand them, but it looked really, really ugly. So I covered it with some plaid ribbon, but I really, really like it. All of my favorite things have come out from being mistakes. And then of course you've got the ribbon and the little bow at the top and then another little star. I have a couple more of these which have sold, which I'll put some pictures up of. I really, really love them all so much. I've sort of had to take a break from making stuff like this and the teddies and stuff because I've been working so crazily on this collection. But as you're seeing this, I've finished putting everything up on the website and the website's launched so I'll have more time to work on new notebooks and new stuffed animals. There are a couple other things that I've been working on that I wish I could show. I'm still trying to figure them out, which is kind of annoying because I do have so much more work that I've been doing that I can't show. I was working on this collection of hair accessories. I was so excited about them, but I've run into so many issues with trying to get materials to stay together and things just keep falling off. So I have this whole hair accessory collection that I've been meaning to finish and put out there for so long, but I had to put it on like the back burner because I had to work on this stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to show those soon. But the very exciting part, getting into the clothes. So I'm gonna start with my handmade and reworked pieces and then move on to some of my favorites that I've curated. So 
<laughs> this is one of my pieces. It's a bodysuit. So this has been reworked. So I did not make this bodysuit. I just reworked the front. I never really knew what I was doing going into it. Like all the designs were very intuitive. I kind of just worked on them and kept adding stuff as I went. But there was definitely a theme and I definitely pulled a lot of inspiration from the same places. Obviously I used a lot of lace and it's all very feminine. But I used a lot of crosses and stars. We've got this little blue lace doily I guess and then just this really cute floral cross that I cut out and put on top of course we've got the cute little rose bow just to finish it all off this is definitely one of my favorite pieces of the whole collection I just think the colors look so nice together the whole silhouette on is so beautiful and not to like what is it toot my own horn yeah I really really love this some of these are on pretty hangers and some of them aren't that's just kind of the way it's gone. This is the first handmade piece that I ever made. It was made out of a tote bag. I had never in my life before this piece sewed a buttonhole, but now I can say that I have spent many hours of my life sewing buttonholes. So I sewed these buttons on and then individually sewed these buttonholes, which was very, very hard. Got my mum to model the piece to see where the strap should go. Finished it off with some cute little pink bows. I'm gonna say that everything's my one of my favorites, but this is one of my favorites because it's completely mine, like completely handmade. And I just think it very much encapsulates the vibe, my vibe, the store's vibe. This is a reworked piece. It's just like very simple because it's just like a really beautiful classic white dress. And I just wanted to add something not too crazy. So I crocheted this really long snake. This was like a crazy chaotic mess, but I tried to pin it in the outline of the letters and then sew it, but the pin started coming out and then poking into my hands. This one was tricky, but I think it came out really, really cute in the end. I had a couple of words and phrases that I really liked that I wrote down that I wanted to incorporate into some of the pieces, like portray more of a narrative or like more of a character to the pieces. And Haunted was one of them. I think it kind of fits the vibe. It's like quite a cute ghostly hanging out in the cemetery dress. So it feels so horrible choosing a favorite, but this is probably my favorite. This is a reworked piece. I don't know what I love about it so much. It's just so perfect to me. I really had no idea what to do with this top, but I just knew it was such a good base. Kept it pretty simple, but I just added this lace star and then added some lace around it. And then just a really nice muted pink long bow. It all just happened to turn out really, really cohesive. I feel like this is exactly the vibe and the look and aesthetic that I wanted to produce with this collection. So I'm really, really happy with this one. This is just a really pretty Calvin Klein shirt. I don't sell a lot of branded stuff. It just needs something a bit weirder. So I added these like googly eyes and a little star around the branding. This is one of my more full pieces. Like I've done a lot to it. I really wanted to work with slip skirts, just like do mixed media stuff with them. So we've got a beautiful long pink bow and then I cut up this tea towel that had different beer brands on it. I've got this beautiful like silky green star and then some blue lace around it. And then right down the bottom I have this like metallic ribbon butterfly moth. Pretty sure I made this like the night before the photo shoot. Just got this simple baseball tee and then just added a cute little gingham heart with some lace and ribbon and then another googly eye star. This piece came out so much better than I thought it was going to. But it's just this basic pink pajama vest top with some lace around the top. I added a cute little ribbon just to tie it all together. The main part of this piece is I found these vintage like iron-on transfers and they were so adorable, like a little bunny, some ducks. They obviously used this design like more than the others. So those came out faded, but I was like, I kind of feel like that just adds to the vibe. This one was the first piece that I ever reworked and it is a pair of little denim booty shorts. The front just has some little lace details, but the back just says meadow across the butt. This is the piece that actually inspired the name of the whole collection. It says Motel Pool Mermaid. It was super fun to make and it's super, super beautiful and I'm so proud of it. This is another piece where like seeing it on the model was so cool and she really, really loved it and she felt really good in it. So that was really fun. Another reworked piece. This is the name of one of my favorite books by Jack Kerouac, but on the road also felt very in line with the narrative. So I'm trying to tell through Meadow Lane. I could like write a book about all the stories that I'm trying to tell through like the pieces and the photo shoots and everything. I don't know, it's kind of hard to put into words. Essentially, this feels very in line with this story in my head that I have, this freedom, like you're on the road, you're staying at motel, and it also just happens to be the name of one of my favorite books. This is another one of my absolute favorites because this one took a really long time and it was one of the first pieces I made when I was like feeling very empowered 
by this whole collection. And that is this beautiful little pink bandeau top that has, of course, a pink ribbon at the top. And then a little cutout cross. And then tons of little beads around it. I wanted to add the beads to make the piece feel very mermaidy. Again, I'm obsessed with mermaids, obsessed with sirens. So I want it to feel very like under the ocean, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, I really, really love this piece. I really wish I could keep all of them, but I can't. And then we've got this upcycled school uniform. In Australia, I feel like this is very noticeable as a school uniform. I was unsure about it. I didn't know if it was gonna just seem tacky and I don't know, but I have customers from all around the world, like from the US, Germany. So to them, they probably won't think of it as a school uniform. They'll just think like, what a cute like 90s kind of grungy plaid dress with this like cute feminine vintage touches. It would have just gone to landfill. So I was like, I'm just gonna try and upcycle it. The Aussie people are probably gonna be like, Ugh, that's a school uniform doll. This one was made out of a vintage tablecloth. And then another one that's quite similar is this other vintage tablecloth. This one is very inspired by video games. I really wanted to include like some sort of lyric or word that felt very connected to Lana. Very much, I see you the bestest. And then my very last reworked piece I have to show you for this collection. Beautiful like midi skirt. I just added this cute little lace star on the front and then some metallic-y ribbon. It's very simple, but I feel like it gives it such a modern touch and brings it back into this decade a little bit. Moving on to some of my absolute favorite pieces from this collection that aren't mine. It's just so beautiful. I don't know what it is about the silhouette and like the cut. I feel like it's vintagey in a very modern way and it feels almost like art deco. My next favorite curated piece is this beautiful dress. It's just so cute and vintagey. Imagine living in a cottage and waking up and going outside and feeding your ducks outside and wearing this. You go inside, you bake some bread. You know what I mean? Like, it, there's a vision there. Another beautiful favorite are these shorts. And like, tell me this is not the most Lundell Slay thing you've ever seen in your entire life. To me, they're like such a perfect blend of like Penny Lane 70s rock star girlfriend. And then just like beautiful feminine Lundell Ray. Like, 2010s vibe. Nearing the end, got a couple skirts. So the first one is this incredible denim skirt. It feels very, very country to me. Maxine X Pearl Universe vibes from the skirt. It just like cinches you in and then flares out and it's just so incredible. Chuck this on with some cowboy boots. And you're ready to go to the hoedown. You know what I mean? <laughs> this skirt is like what heaven looks like in my brain. It's just this beautiful skirt. Seeing it on Shaz in the photo shoot was just like my dream come true. It's like a really classic, timeless thing, just like a long skirt, but it's so modern and different with this like beautiful silvery pattern and silver is something that I've been obsessed with for months and months and months now. I feel like it looks very designer in my opinion. And I think it's a statement piece that everyone is gonna give you compliments about. And everyone's gonna be like, where did you get that skirt? And you're gonna be like, oh, sorry. It's one of a kind and I'm so jealous because it doesn't fit me. <laughs> and if it did, I would have kept it. And then very, very lastly are these two swimsuits. I'm so glad that I came across this set because we got to do a really cool like duo shot in the photo shoot and it was so incredible like drinking their Cokes and honestly, if you have no interest in buying a single thing from me, I totally get it. But you have to look at the photos from the photo shoot because honestly, it's just like girl to whoever you are, you've got to see them. They're just like these incredible Malibu Barbie 90210, 80s, 90s, perfect swimmers. That's everything that I have to show you. Working on this collection, like curating, making, reworking everything has been so much fun and I can't wait to do it for the rest of my life until the day I die. I don't want to get too like cringe, but I am super, super excited to see what this website could do for me and just to watch Madeleine grow as I grow up as a woman and I can't wait one day to have my own workspace to be able to get out of my bedroom. Even though I'm still definitely in my very humble beginnings, I still feel incredibly privileged every day to just have something that I'm so passionate about. And it's just an incredible, beautiful thing that I can film my life with. I love getting to share that with as many people as possible. You know, whether that's on TikTok with, you know, the stuffed animal thing blowing up or on here. It's just like a really beautiful, positive thing. Everything that I've shared in this video is available for you to buy at this moment. If you want to buy any of these pieces or just check out the website or check out the pictures from the photo shoot, they'll all be up on the website as well as like on Meadow Lanes and my personal Instagram. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. It really means the world to me. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll have my TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest in my description box, like always. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night. Thank you.